All right, we're starting off the week with another Sudoku variant. This one is called quadruples, um, and there's going to be white uh, circles in the grid. Um, sort of look like crop key dots, but they're a little bit different. They're not on the border between two cells. They're actually on the corners here um, between four cells, uh, hence the name quadruples. So you'll see these spread around the grid, and they will have numbers in them. For example, this one could be one, two, three, four. Um, and, and all that means is that the digits one, two, three, and four must appear somewhere in these four cells. It could be, you know, literally one, two, three, and four. It could be three, four, two, one. It could be in any order. You don't really know, but one, two, three, and four have to be in those four cells. Um, sometimes you won't have all four numbers. You might have, um, just five, seven, for example. And that tells you that a 5 and a 7 have to appear in these four cells somewhere. But that doesn't mean that only 5s and 7s can be in there, because obviously you can only have 1, 5, and 7 in here, and because they're in the same box. So this could be 1, 2, 5, and 7. It could be 8, 9, 5, and 7. It could be The other two could be anything. Um, so the thing to think about here is um, what this tells you about the other cells in the box. So for example, right up here, we have one, two, three, and four. So obviously the rest of these are five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, down here, you know a little bit less. You don't know that what all is in here, but you do know the five and seven are in here, which means you can't have a five or a seven in any of these cells. So um, it's basically just normal Sudoku stuff other than that, um, it's just kind of, it's essentially as if you, um, you know, started off with some pencil marks saying a five and a seven have to be in here somewhere. That's all it's really doing. Um, and there's also some clone stuff involved with today's puzzle. So of course, keep in mind all of the things you've learned about clones on previous puzzles. Um, think about the the cloned areas in tandem and what that means. Um, and I hope you have fun. Uh, it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Um, it's using a lot of the things you already know, so that should help. And hope you enjoy the puzzle. See you tomorrow.